Learn from and change complex objects made by others. If you remember from the previous animations, we can learn by looking at items that we have saved in our inventory. Let's take out this skirt and bring it onto the island. I'm going to zoom in closer to the skirt because when you're working on these it really helps if you can be close in. I then right click on the skirt and I click edit. Now I can see some of the parts and pieces the skirt is made of and as I bring it back and forth you'll notice that these parts of the skirt actually move. To examine the skirt more closely I clicked on the menu for building and I now am clicking into edit linked parts and that allows me to look at individual parts of the skirt and I'm not going to worry about keeping this skirt together much I'm going to pull the arrow to pull out one of the pieces and let me close this window now so that we have some more space I pulled out one of the pieces and if you notice at this point I am now looking at one of the primitives. It no longer has the composite name. Now I'm curious as to why this is actually floating and I'm clicking over to the features. One of the features that was clicked for this is something called the flexible path and you'll see that I can make my skirt more, my skirt panels more and less flexible. I can also affect the gravity. If I put more gravity on it will fall down. If I put less gravity on it will fly away more. So you see as I create objects I can adjust their appearance. And one of the things that's interesting too is the texture. Right now there is a dark texture. I'm going to go up and take that texture out. And I'm going to select it now I think I'll make the color something that will stand out. I'll just make it yellow um, and I could put this back. Oops, kind of disappeared and I can put it back so I've created one yellow panel in this skirt. I could though go back and change my edit linked parts, put them all together and now when I double click on the texture I could do something a little more creative and I could go into my texture library that's been provided by OpenSim and let's find something that's quite different. I think I will go down and choose to make this look like water. And so I click water and I've decided to select that and now if you notice my panels are totally different. And the one panel that I had previously selected, I don't know if I can find that one now, let me go back to edit linked parts. If I were to find this one panel from previously it looks a little different because I put a yellow color there. If I hold down control I can zip this around and see how this effect of changing the colors has worked on my skirt. If I unclick edit linked parts I can go back and see that my skirt now still is called the original one. Let me call it my water skirt and change the name. Another thing I want to be sure to do is allow other people to copy this skirt but I'm going to pull this up. I could decide also to make it for sale and then I could put in different prices. Of course you have to consider what people will pay with for your skirt and choose the options that you think will actually be saleable. Now I can attach this as before uh, the problem sometimes with using materials made from others is that it becomes hard to get them out of your inventory. You can do take copy as before and I should be able to find my water skirt. Pay attention to the name of the skirt because you will use that later to look it up. Possibly now that I've put a copy in the thing I'm going to unlink the whole thing. It is no longer a skirt. It would be taking me a while to put all the pieces together and I'm going to examine how this particular object was made and I'll notice that it has been cut and hollowed and I can also learn from these effects now. So you can go in 
and learn how other people have changed and created different shapes. And if you do this, you will be able to create a lot of your own shapes in the future. So put shapes that you want into your inventory, but it is also good to learn from the shapes that you've created and use these techniques to create your own shapes in the future.